today we're going to be looking at this 3D printed sort of gimbal holder and lens cover for the Phantom 3. Alright, so the actual um, structure of this is um, really quite ingenious. Um, I was surprised the hinge um, actually right um, out of printing uh, works really well. Um, so the actual hinge function um, is really amazing how the creator of this 3D object um, was able to make this hinge um, work fully out of the machine, which I thought it might be sort of like a weaker hinge that wasn't going to work very well and probably break off. Um, but this, the hinge is probably what I think is the coolest uh, part of this um, gimbal holder. So it's not only just a gimbal holder, um, but also it um, covers the lens because right here um, it's on the back there's a hole, I think that's just to save some plastic, but here it's covered, so during transportation or moving it, or that's the same thing as transportation, uh, it'll um, be protected um, so you won't get any scratches on the lens and the gimbal won't um, break because this is a pretty fragile gimbal under here with all the small motors and screws and stuff. This is also much, um, I believe this is a much easier design um, than the other So let's do a small comparison. This is the gimbal holder that um, actually came with the uh, Phantom 3 Professional, um, but it also comes with the Phantom 3 uh, Advanced as well. So um, this is a pretty uh, good gimbal um, holder, um, but the problem with this, I believe, is that it's really difficult to tell which end goes in the um, like which way it's really difficult. There's no markings. Um, what I've learned to do is there's this small um, part right here I just line that up right here with this part under here um, And it fits in pretty well, but um, it's a little difficult to get it in there And then you have to push it down like that and it does work really well. It keeps everything nice and stable um, It's not going to go anywhere, but um, it's a little More difficult than it has to be. It's not I don't think it's the best um, gimbal lock holder that is out there. So that is why um, I actually um, was looking for these. You can actually find these on Amazon for relatively cheap, but um, if you just go in the link below, there's a link to this actual STL file, um, and if you have a 3D printer or access to a 3D printer, you can print this for just pennies. I mean, the plastic on here is maybe going to cost at most five cents, um, so you can either buy one on Amazon, which which might be an option if you don't um, have a 3D printer or access to a 3D printer over the time, because this actually took four hours to print. Um, I wanted to print it really high quality because um, probably only going to be printing one of these unless I get more Phantom 3s in the future, which is really not likely. Um, but so I just wanted to print a super high quality one. Um, it print really well. Um, for the settings, I had it on like the slowest speed it could go um, and the highest quality. And then the um, fill rate was 50%. So this is 50% hollow. Or 50 for, yeah, it's 50% hollow, I guess you could say. Um, and that's just to save some plastic. Um, and then the fill layer is 0.2 millimeters which is um, pretty thin. Also, this, this door over here I really like because it's got this um, flap right here that's somewhat flexible. You don't want to push that too much or else it'll just break off. Um, but the door can just slide right in and kind of like locks in place down there. So when you put this on the leg right here, you just kind of straighten up the camera. And why I love this is it just slides right on in. 
we get it lined up correct correctly. So it, it's really easy to just slide in there. So I'll show you again here. You just line the camera up correctly and there's, it, this is much, much easier to figure out, okay, I know the big, the hole, the side with the big hole is definitely going to be where the camera slides in, whereas with this other one, um, there's no real marking which side goes in, you have to figure out where this is and then try to line it up. And then this one doesn't even protect the camera, so the lens could get scratched. You've got a very stable sort of gimbal thing, thingy. And then back here, it's also got extra protection and strength, so it's really not going to go anywhere, which was a nice addition they added. I'm not actually sure who did this, who created this gimbal lock slash camera protector, but it um, really does work really well. This does mean that um, before I had 3D printed a um, sort of like camera, if I get it out here, a camera a lens protector that says DJI, it's engraved right here. Um, so I'm not really going to need this now because it's just going to sit in there. Um, but if I want to just take this um, gimbal lock off to show people or something but still want the camera to be protected because you don't want to be scratching that 4K camera, um, I can always just add this nice lens cover and not have to have the gimbal all locked up. You can also watch my other video where I 3D printed this sun visor, um, which I always use if it's really sunny outside so you don't get like lens flares or um, the sun casting shadows or whatever on the camera yourself because that can throw off the 4K camera quite a bit. So you always want to have one of these nice lens. So you always want to have one of these nice sun deflector thingy rigidies. Alright, so you've seen how this works. Um, it's very, very stable, and since it's 3D printed, it's only going to cost a couple cents, even at that. Um, and also, if it, like, for some reason cracks or I drop it and it, it cracks, the gimbal will still be safe, hopefully, um, and I can just 3D print another one, um, which is a really nice feature about this. I do think this gimbal lock slash lens cover 3D printed thingy majiggy um, is missing one thing. There we go, now that's much better. Now, it's BJI specific. Nobody's gonna confuse it with those other brands. That looks really nice. It looks like it was made for it. So we have the DJI up here. It says Phantom 3 Professional down here. And then it says DJI on the actual lens cover slash gimbal lock. Alright, so that's my complete review of this gimbal lock sort of thing. There's not too much to show you else about this. Um, that's pretty much it. I told you it took four hours to print because I was doing it super high quality. Um, and of course you can find the link down there below um, to where you can find this and 3D print this for yourself. Um, this is by far the best design I've found. Some other ones, they clamp up here. Um, or back heat or something. I don't think they work quite as well as this um, really nice um, hinge right here. So I definitely say if you're going to 3D print one of these, you should definitely uh, 3D print this one because it's the best design that I have found. Um, and the nice thing is I didn't have to make it. I can just take somebody else's work who's already done it, which is really great. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for future updates on the Phantom 3 Professional and many other drones here on Wednesday Drone News. Thank you for watching.